What's going on you guys? So in this video we're going to be doing a teardown and comparison between a cheap eBay wastegate and a quality tile wastegate. Okay, for starters, let's take a look at the outside machining. On the actual top of the gate here, if you look at this, this cheap gate, you can actually see that it doesn't mate together all the way. Uh, you can actually see that screw right there in between the gap, and that's because this is not machined flat. So it will not seat 100% completely flat. So the QC on this is uh, already right out the gate, not the best quality. As where if you look at the tile, it is all machined perfectly flat, seats together nice, and will seal nice and tight. Also, while we're on the exterior here, actually, let me put a rag down under this, because uh, it's actually nice and I don't want to scratch it. So these are both supposed to be stainless steel wastegates. Now, right here, I have a magnet. And watch what happens when I stick the magnet over each wastegate. We're gonna come across this way over the tile and then we're gonna go over the eBay wastegate. So we bring this over the tile gate. It's not drawing the magnet in. It is good stainless steel. Now if we go over to the eBay gate, you'll see that the magnet wants to get drawn to it. Same thing with the piston. If I can actually even get it to go over it. There we go. So this is not a quality stainless steel. This might be something more along the lines of a 409 stainless, where I think this is a 304 stainless. So this is non-ferrous, and this definitely has some ferrous properties. Uh, there may be some iron content in here, but... It's definitely not 100% stainless steel. Now also, if you look closely at this one, you can notice that that piston is not completely centered. You can see how far offset it is to the one side. Now that can and will cause seal issues. As where the tile is perfectly centered all the way around. Now, another thing with the cheaper wastegates here, an issue that I had on this are the cheap clamps that come with them. Now, on just about every one of these clamps, I had to grind the clamp down. If you look at that, you can see how much shorter one's, how much thinner one side is than the other. And that's because I actually had to grind it down so it would clamp all the way. And uh, without doing that, it was just completely loose and it would spin around in there. As where with the tile stuff, the machining is a lot nicer, the tolerances are tighter, and everything fits and just goes on like it should. No need to do any crazy modifications or grinding or anything to make it fit. It just goes on and fits first try like it should. Same thing with the flanges. The flanges are a much better quality. Uh, these actually even have a taper, a nice taper into the exhaust to let the exhaust flow in where the other ones are just a straight hole through. As the same with the other flange, the dump tube flange is also a much better quality and the clamp is definitely a much better quality. The fire ring is a nice snug fit in there. Seats up right in the center like it should. As where with the cheaper one, since the piston is offset, it does not seat dead center. It seats kind of on, on an offset. And you can actually see here kind of around the edge there uh, on this side where it's not seated all the way. So now let's take these apart and actually inspect the insides. This one has got some miles on it. Not too many. I've got two track days on this wastegate. So hopefully it won't be too bad inside, but the other one that I have on there is definitely not the same color. So I'm guessing that one of them was leaking a little more than the other and not maintaining as much heat internally. So we uh, clearly did have leaking issues to, to begin with. And, um, and, that, and that was clear also because you could feel exhaust gases leaking straight out of the wastegate dump tube, even at idle. So 
these were definitely not the best quality and I'm sure a lot of it has to do with that uh, the pistons not being centered and both of my wastegates that I have like this are identical and they both do the same thing and have the same issues so let's take them apart and look at the insides so one thing you're going to notice first of all is this wastegate only has a single ring on the inside of it for basically one size spring there's not too many other, there's no other real offsets in there or spots for other springs to sit and uh, stay seated as where the tile has several grooves cut out on it for uh, multiple let's see if I can get the light a little better for multiple different spring sizes and diameters and the top hat is the same way the top hat has recesses cut in it to take multiple size springs as well as where this one as where this one is just the one and basically you get what you get now you can try and stick different size springs in here and you know it might work they might bind up who knows uh, one thing's for sure is that this did not seat was not seated very well in there you can kind of tell that the uh, the o-ring or not the o-ring the uh, the diaphragm there is pinched so the diaphragm was pinched on assembly it's actually ripped right there you can see where that diaphragm is actually even ripped and that can uh, bring up a bunch of issues on its own really now the diaphragm on this one is molded very nice it actually fits in the groove like flawlessly you need no effort at all to even just get that that uh, diaphragm it takes no effort at all to get that diaphragm to seat in that groove as where this diaphragm is I mean this thing's already so messed up that I don't even know how I'd go about getting that back in there to uh, put it back together it would it would take some actual effort to put this back together and get it to seal now another thing the bottom of this wastegate let's see if I can get it on the camera is held in with three screws down there or three bolts holding it together I don't know if you can see those in there yeah the Allen head bolts down there as where this one just uses a single nut to hold the whole thing together and I've actually had this nut come loose on me before and uh, when that comes loose the whole wastegate basically uh, wants to fall apart and it doesn't work too good when it wants to fall apart so now you're probably asking yourself why did I even have this on my car to begin with and I'm kinda asking myself the same question at this point but the answer is cuz I was broke and I needed to make it to a track day and I really had no other options so I kinda these were like fifty dollars and honestly taking it apart you kinda get what you pay for and this is just gonna go in the trash cuz the quality control is so poor that it's not worth blowing up an engine from over boosting if this piston decides to seize up and I'm, yeah I'm just gonna throw it in the trash this is much better quality the quality control in itself is you know second to none and especially in comparison to this shit another benefit to the tile stuff is you can actually water cool your wastegates if you want to so it's always a nice option to have plus where these cheap eBay wastegates basically just come with a wastegate that's gonna leak uh, clamps that don't fit and a single massive spring which is honestly only like an eight pound spring the tile kits come with clamps that do fit nice flanges a good quality machined piece an actual stainless housing and a variety of springs that way you can actually put in the spring that you want to be close to your target gate pressure as where this is kind of you get what you get and since this isn't actually a tile wastegate and it's not machined the same so for example your height your height offsets are different so your spring compression and preload is going to be different which means a spring that may be a 10 pound spring in a tile if you put it in this it might only be a six pound spring or a four pound spring so there's no actual good spring chart to go off of to 
get a good idea of where your your gate pressure is going to be off of the spring you put in now i did post a video on how to test that once you put a spring in before you run your car there are ways to test what your actual gate pressure are i'll leave a link to that video down in the description but overall the tile is better machined better quality material better diaphragm the piston obviously is part of the machining and it's center better options for cooling you have multiple air ports in the bottom as where this one has one port in the bottom so depending on how your vehicle set up you might need a line to come off in a certain direction and this gives you multiple options for that the only one advantage this has is price and it's not even really an advantage at that point because you know you save yourself a couple hundred bucks buying a cheap wastegate well if it seizes up and the piston doesn't open and you over boost your motor and blow it up you know extra couple hundred bucks just cost you a couple thousand dollars so i've been saying since i've had these on my car that it was a very bad idea and not recommending anybody to do this and i'm glad i'm finally getting them off my car because they're garbage let me dig this out of the trash real quick to uh show you one more thing uh, another thing I forgot to mention here before I throw this away now on the tile you'll notice the piston operation is very very smooth the cheap eBay one this tolerance is very very tight on here now what happens when things get hot things expand exhaust gets pretty damn hot so what happens when this expands and seizes up and can't open you over boost so this tolerance being as tight and this piston being as sticky as it is is definitely definitely not good or safe for your engine and uh I mean just the quality difference between the two they're they're just they're on completely different levels if I had to pick one or the other obviously uh, it's gonna be a good quality part that has actual quality control now you can go in the trash so there you go a uh, tear down in comparison between a cheap eBay wastegate that costs like 50 60 bucks and an actual quality tile wastegate so the tile is clearly an overall much better product and i definitely feel a lot more confident having this on my motor than that now you might wonder why i didn't take the pistons completely out and tear it all the way down apart that's because this is all already loctited and set and i really don't want to mess with any of that all the set screws and everything already have loctite on it it's already been fully assembled and uh you know tile does a pretty good job of assembling their stuff and I don't really want to take it completely all the way apart so all I'm gonna do is put the correct springs in it bolt it on my car and possibly make new wastegate dump tubes and we should be good to go so I need to give a huge shout out to tile not only for helping out with supporting the program and partnering with us on the LS 550 but for making a very good quality product here and you know I ran their products on my GTO uh, actual real tile products on my GTO and we never had any issues with them now we did run one of those gates on my GTO temporarily and it had the same issues it had on this car and they leaked at idle and you know we just weren't confident with how they were controlling and holding boost so we ran, I think, one event on those and then got rid of them. Now we're actually back on some good quality products. We can turn the boost up, make some serious power, and have confidence that it's not going to overboost and blow our engine up. So that's going to be it for this one, you guys. So like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow the build along. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.